some of his music on, oh. on um, cassette that he recorded in his bathroom because it had good acoustics. Oh, good. Oh. But then he also recorded a vinyl record with a, with a combo with a bunch of other musicians of ukulele music. Okay. And so I just kind of had that music and I've been playing it all these years, you know, and just last fall I heard this song, um, it's a version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow and oh, um, it's a Wonderful World, done by a Hawaiian guy by the name of Israel... Israel Kamanakanakanakame. He was, he was, at one point he was 750 pounds. That's how big a man he was. He ended up dying at about the age of 36 because of That song is, have you ever uh, seen the Meet Joe Black? No, it's in it's a couple a of movies and a couple of commercials. You would recognize it if you heard it. So when I heard that, I thought, man, I would love to play that. Now, that's the hardest song I'm trying to play, and it's the, the one I have not mastered at all. You will. But um, I've got some other one. This, this is one I just learned, and this yeah, one's a good one. See if I recognize it. Day is ending. Birds are winding. Back to the shelter of each little nest they love. Nightshades falling, lovebirds calling. What makes the world go round? Nothing but love. When whippoorwills call and evening is nigh, I hurry to my blue heaven. I turn to the right, a little white light will lead you to my blue heaven. You'll see a smiling face, a fireplace, a cozy room, a little nest that's nestled where the roses bloom. Just Molly and me, and baby makes three, we're happy in my blue heaven. Flowers are sleeping under a starlit way. Uh, I lost my waiting another day. Time for resting, birds are nesting, resting their weary wings, tired from the play. When whippoorwills call and evening is night, I hurry to my blue. 
happening. A turn to the right, a little white light will lead you to my blue heaven. You'll see a smiling face, a fireplace, a cozy room, a little nest that's nestled where the roses bloom. Just Molly and me and baby next three. We're happy in my blue heaven. I'm learning some Christmas songs so I can oh, play them nice. with the kids at Christmas those. time. Do, do the one that, um, uh, that don't tell Christmas? me maybe, say yes or no, but don't tell me. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, that one before you do the Christmas one. All right. Yeah. Um, Jason likes that song. It's amazing how we all knew that song and never heard it before. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Oh, heaven, my, my heaven. Blue heaven. oh, I'm the heaven. Yeah. What's the one you're going to do now? But um, this is a this is kind of a silly song. It's um, it's done by a group called Kate. Down where the flames were high, and it burned, burned, burned. The ring of fire. Ring of fire. That's all. Yay! 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 Good boy. You're so genius. You better watch out, you better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list and he's checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty and nice, Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you and you're sleeping, and he knows when you're Song. You'll be ready. You'll have that down at breakfast. Sounds like a pretty good, right? Rudolph the red nosed reindeer oh, had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say Igalos. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one fall. Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as he left it up with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history without a shirt. Oh, I like that without a shirt. That's a personal question. Oh, there we go. Well, you've got to get that out of the way. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Meant for someone else, but not for me. Ooh, it was out to get me. Da -da -da -da. That's the way it seemed. Da -da -da -da. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face.
I'm not gonna miss a party. Did you hear Uncle Stevie singing? Uncle Stevie was singing and playing like a little juice. I think you do very well. Juice. Juice. Thank you. Thank you. Juice. Thank you. No. I still got. I got the. You were never musical. I probably have five other songs. No. Um. I'm not. not I was. I was drums. musical when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I, I. He was musical when he was. I younger. played the trombone. Maybe the shiny in the chorus. I played the flutophone. Oh, but hell, that was like in second grade. He played the trombone. Yes, he had a trombone. Fifth and sixth grade. Yep. I said Mark had drums. Oh, my game works kind of neat now, so. Thanks to all the Colton. Yes. Got soccer. All the Colton. Hmm? Got soccer. No. That's what your teacher said. Got soccer. You didn't know it's that. It's not mine. This is Harley's. It's Harley's. Okay, it's okay. Why don't you go change? You see Jason, Harley? You see Jason? Come Jason on, said hi, hi to you. Jason. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Jason said hi to you. Jason? Oh. oh. I go skateboarding. You go know, skateboarding? <laughs> I'm said. going skateboarding. Socks. Kind of your shoes. Come on. Socks. I'm going, going skateboarding. skateboarding. I'm going in my sandals. Well, your sandal do not have, Jason, okay, oh, just wear you. your, no, no, I don't care, I don't care, just wear, use your other one. You don't have to wear socks, but that's not going to get you up. Not going to work, Jason. Now your sandal, you can't skateboard in that sandal, that's not, um. I can skateboard in that sandal. It comes, the foot comes right out. Whatever, break your foot. Who cares? Steve, are you? Are you still taking lessons on your? I only took I took two lessons, and after the second lesson, the guy said you're a natural. Like in the school of Isabel Springs, for those who are in the school of Isabel Springs,
He's making a list and he's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees it when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. It's only good for goodness sake. Oh, you better be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not cry. I tell you why. Sorry. Uncle Mark. Oh, I, I didn't say it. 
from Burlington. Don't remember how I came to Presentation about grandmother coming up here. She's here. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> Lucky us. I'm counting eight, nine, ten. Four, ten. Ah. <laughs> All right. She's already abusing me. This is a party to welcome grandmother to Bethlehem. She's a permanent resident now. Let's go. Cheers, guys. Cheers, grandmother. Here's to me. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. I couldn't be in a nicer place with nicer people. You got that? Wait, like you'll that? find out. We're over at Country Meadows. That's what I said. building me up for a letdown? I was just going to say it's like dying and going to heaven. Oh, that's nice. What makes you think that? <laughs> Sarah looks like a crazy. The medication is on now. I've got the Alzheimer's unit. Not yet. Over with Helen. Did she do that? Yeah, that's hers. Yeah, that's mine. Mark. Yes. In that area where Helen is, they have that one wing over in the side where they Taste do it. Uh, physical therapy. Yeah. Well, from the dining They'd be a little area. strong. They took me over the other day to sign all kinds of paper. Tastes like vanilla the coke. Room set up there, but then there's like um, rooms with somewhat. beds and where people in wheelchairs. What's that all about? When you go in her building, where do you go? Go in her building, go up the second floor. Yeah. Make a make a right, go down to the end where the dining area is. Yeah. And then there's a door at one end of the dining area, and it goes over to a wing walk into her building. And up there, they have a physical therapy thing. A good shepherd apparently runs it. Oh, uh, maybe that's between the two buildings, because those two buildings connect. What, building four, and Building four and building five are connected. Oh, I didn't realize they were connected. You saw double doors there? They had a probably push button pad on the side. I didn't know that <laughs> I went to one single door. Yeah, if you go up here, if you go down on the dining room at the end of that building, that building is connected on the building. Mark was pie. saying to Grandmother yeah, when is, she's bored of watching TV, they have a common still want to tell for a laundry while. thing between those two buildings <laughs> and the kitchen between those two buildings. So they're serving, well, me they're serving meals like, from both. From I both would guess the sister-in-laws would be in the same. It looks that way, but they're actually are connected. Oh, 
Okay. Never but Helen, that's for sure. If I get called in one building and they have something in the other building, I don't even that's think very I'm equipped unusual. enough. That's very unusual. such an odd last name. That's like why I get you thrown in there. You're brown. Thanks, yes. That's very unusual. Those people are going to start saying to you, you related to that woman over in that other building? What are you going to say? I'll say yes, only through marriage. Your marriage. Your blood is <laughs> Let me make that clear. <laughs> you know, she is... Um, I'm not Russian. <laughs> she is Russian, yeah. Take your time. I'm to come over and go with you one day, grandmother. I, I never went over there. You didn't? Oh, sure, I'll go with you. Sure, I'll know who you are. I have yet to see Helen over there. Yeah, go over oh, really? and visit Helen. I said, yeah, we're going to good old TV and you want to be entertained. Really? Yeah, well, she's not entertaining right now. They are both doped up. Yeah. 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 Well, she's, she wouldn't. Gigi's the only one that's gone to see her. Gigi and Mark. Yeah. Does she know you? And who are you? She gave me half her money. I think she remembers me. Hello. <laughs> the first thing she said to me yeah. when I walked in was, well, did you get her moved? Now, I told her the other day, I said, well, guess what? I have something to be angry with. Tomorrow we're going to move my mother, go to law. I said, I won't be here tomorrow to see you. And I'm like, okay. I walked in the very first, and she was so groggy, Denise. She's sitting at her table in the wheelchair. Her oh. head was on the table. Oh, no. And she got out, and she blah, 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 and her eyes just about open, you know. That's not good. I went no. down, no, I didn't. I went down and I told the director. I said, you know, she's too groggy. I said, this woman doesn't give me good at medication. I said, you know. Oh, no, said, no. Pain medication, and she this. And I said, I'm sorry. I said when she was in the hospital, she was alert. She was talking to me. We were talking about politics and whatever. And I said she can't even hold the conversation. I said her head falling on her table. Oh. I said she does not need to be whatever you're putting on her to talk. Well, we're giving her something so she's not agitated. I said, no. Yeah, well, why don't you get your last to see the list of her meds? Well, you need to deal with the, what you drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. They got to let. They all got a sheet of their list of meds. Okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe, so. maybe you should take a pharmacist with you. I went, I, I asked them before, and they said, oh, they were cutting it down. And they said they cut it in half. And she was a little better, but that was the day that she fell. But I still think it was because she was brought up probably. that she ended up falling. I think that's why a lot that's of these old right. people break their hips, probably. They probably got so doped up, they just... But, I mean, she was... So, she, a lot of them uh, break uh, their uh, hips uh, and then fall. Uh, 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 and they see her hands mm -hmm. on yeah. the table again. Majority of them. That came first. Yeah. I, the guy knew I was mad. He knew I was mad. That was today? Mad. Yeah. And I said, well, I said, I want you to check on this. I said, because I said, there was nothing wrong. I said, in the hospital, she held a conversation with me. And I said, she was fine. I said, but she couldn't even talk. She wouldn't even say hello to me. They her head was on the table. Oh. I said, she doesn't need to be. You see a lot of love being so. No. We took one of my own. Um, my sister, Spain, my niece, and the back. We're learning about you today. Bye, day. Yay! Yay! It's her first cigarette. Yay! Give her a glass of wine. Who gives her her first cigarette? That's all I did. My mother gave my son his first beer. Oh. Oh. My grandma, oh. He said, John says my grandma was a bad influence on me. What's that? Hey, kid. No, no, no smoking here. No smoking, Ellie. Ellie. Yo, Ellie. Ellie. She's busy with grandma. Ellie. Yo. Little deaf girl. Johnny Gallup. You're going to Texas for like a week or something. Same thing to people down. bitching about what's wrong with the company and this the and that. Yeah. Them, the them, 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 them defending their side. And you have to understand. They left, they, and they trying to get help, we just can't get enough people. To talk about it. Laying off the third shift is his job. Well, where? At, at, at laminations. The not company works for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Put it in the box. Yeah. That's the girl. Put it in there. The salesman who they trusted their future to. Where's he? Hold it up. Hold it up. Put it in the box. I was out Thursday night. Good. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good if I'm tired. Uh, no fun. <laughs> it's no fun if he's tired. <laughs>
<laughs> we can't fire those salesmen, though. We need them. <laughs> Don't worry, Ken. What are we doing now? Oh, you're dropping it again. Push that product. Oh. <laughs> Answer those phones. That's too heavy. Somehow, no respect to this job. Can't get to the phone. You've got to have, first of all, respect the job before you can do it. Sarah's bad. Oh, my God. Why don't you take it off me now, Sarah? Hold it up. Time! Put it in. Close it up and put it in. So, Dad, where are these pictures you were going to show me? Um, Any idea? Where's your cow? We're going to smoke cigars when I come to her house to babysit. Oh. We're giving up.